Moss Rock Festival is a blending of nature, eco ideas, art plus design, and it's bringing together creative minds who make us move forward in a very positive way. And it's a way to collaborate, have collaboration, I should say, among creative minds, whether it's an artist and an engineer, an architect and an ecologist. That's what we're pushing. We're pushing combinations of brilliant minds thinking about the future. This is the fifth year for the Moss Rock Festival. What a beautiful day, a great event. We have over 100 visual artists. We have over 50 expo of environmental projects here. This is another great family event, an event that you can bring your kids for free, have a great afternoon here, learn a little, have some fun. We got some kids over here with hula hoops now. We have the cake tasting contest. So it's just a great afternoon to be here with your, with your family. This, this really brings the community together to, to uh, appreciate what we have here in Hoover because it, it helps bring us all together. So with that, I want to announce the awards. The grand prize goes to Thaisa Mosley. I've been studying about seven months now, and um, I've been out of school for about three months. This particular cake with all the elements, it took about a month and a half to get it together. We are encouraging children to use found and recycled materials to uh, take on their own backyard building projects, use their creativity, their imagination with uh, you know, materials and substrates that they might not have thought of before. The only way to learn how something works or doesn't work is to do it yourself. So you build a structure, if it's not made right, it's gonna fall over, all of these things, and it's very important for the kids to learn so that as they grow older, they can uh, take on bigger and more important projects. <laughs> All the dogs. Mommy, Aren't they cool? I like this one. Most of the time when I'm doing them and I'm making one, when it, you know, from scrap, and, it, and I say, as I start building it, and, and it, it just, I just come up with a personality. It's like, you know, it just comes to you as I'm building them. Like I know I'm gonna build a cat, but I'm not I'm necessarily don't know what they're gonna look like in the face until I get to that point. Now, you know, like the fat one here that, that you know, I wanted him to just be, you know, kind of blah, you know. Duh, I don't care. <laughs> kind of like dogs have their own personality. Th these do too, but they just don't talk. <laughs> so to me, they do. And that's where I pick them up. And I say, well, you know, you're just a funny little dog. Or, little, you know, you, so your name's going to be like, you know, something crazy. So, And I talk to them. You know, you got to talk to them some when you're about down there in a the studio by yourself with, with them looking at you. What can you do? <laughs> Clara! <laughs>